welcome to my channel blue chip finance and uh, in this video uh, we will discuss more about economic order quantity eoq and it is a part 6 of the previous section of economic order quantity or ye jo video hai ye uh, economic order quantity कि जो फर्स्ट जहां से ये स्टार्ट हुआ था वहां से हमने एक जो सिंपल इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी का जो आप ये कह लें कि जो बेस डाटा है उसको लेकर सॉल्व करते करते फिर हम सेकंड फेज के अंदर हम आए जिसके अंदर प्रोडक्शन की जो कैपेबिलिटी है वो साथ अटैच होनी शुरू हुई तो हमने फॉर्मूला के अंदर थोड़ी सी चेंज की और अब हम इस वीडियो से हम एक थर्ड फेस के अंदर हम जाएंगे कि जिसके अंदर प्रोडक्शन कैपेबिलिटी और डेली की जो प्रोडक्शन डिमांड है ये भी इंक्लूड हो जाएगी तो हम देखेंगे कि अब फॉर्मूलास के अंदर क्या-क्या चेंज आएगी तो लेट्स स्टार्ट द लेक्चर सो आर्थर इज अ प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर ऑफ व्हील राइड अ स्मॉल प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ मेटल पार्ट्स व्हील राइड सप्लाइज कैलटेक्स अ लार्जर असेंबली कंपनी विद 10000 व्हील बेरिंग्स ईच ईयर this order has been stable for some time setup cost for wheel right is 40 dollar and holding cost is 0 0.60 per wheel bearing per year wheel right can produce 500 wheel bearings uh, per day caltex is a just in time manufacturer and requires that 50 bearings be shipped to it each business day and fourth requirements uh, are given in the question that what is the optimum production quantity uh, what is the maximum number of wheel bearings that will be in inventory at wheel right and how many production runs of wheel bearings will wheel right have in a year and what is the total setup plus holding cost so simply we can say that what is the total cost uh, of uh, total setup and total holding cost so first important step uh, in each and every question is to get data uh, so from here demand uh, annual is wheel right supplies caltex a larger assembly company with 10000 wheel bearings each year so d is 10000 this order has been stable for some time setup cost for wheel right is 40 dollars so setup cost or ordering cost s is 40 and holding cost uh, or h is 0 0.60 and wheel right can produce 500 wheel bearings so production capability p is 500 and caltex is just in time manufacturing requires that 50 bearings be shipped to it each business day that is requirement so daily demand uh, in fact it is given we have no need to apply this formula because it is given in the question by default so daily demand is 50 so first step is to calculate the uh, economic order quantity or optimal size of production run q uh, which is uh, 2ds divided by h multiplied by 1 minus d1 divided by p uh, in some books uh, it is written as lowercase d so it's up to you either you uh, use d1 or uh, lowercase d so to uh, multiply by d d is 10000 and s is 40 uh, divided by h h is 0 
and 1 minus d1 is 50 which is given in the question and p is uh, daily production capability is 500 units and finally economic or quantity or optimal size of production run is 1 to 17.16 units we can say that 1 to 17 units so after that second requirement is what is the maximum number of wheel bearing that will be in inventory at wheel right so inventory maximum inventory uh, is denoted as uh, i max so maximum inventory i max is equals to q multiplied by 1 minus d1 divided by p so uh, q is your uh, optimal uh, size of production run q which is which you calculated before 1 to 17.16 so 1 to 17.16 uh, multiply by 1 minus uh, d1 divided by p uh, that p we already discussed that it is production capability and d1 is the demand of that product which they manufacture so d1 is 50 and p is 500 so after putting this data and solving it uh, maximum inventory uh, level uh, which should be maintained uh, is 1095.44 or you can say that 1095 uh, units so after that third requirement is that how many production runs of wheel bearings will uh, wheel right have in a year uh, so uh, we can say that uh, total demand is 10,000 uh, so demand is 10,000 annual yearly demand is 10,000 and at each optimal size of production run uh, is Q uh, which is denoted by Q is 1 to 17.16 so uh, if uh, we divide uh, this demand with this Q uh, we can get uh, optimal annual production runs that uh, 8.21 means 8 or 9 times uh, we uh, should run the production run uh, so after that fourth requirement is total cost uh, which is I max divided by 2 in this condition total cost uh, is equals to uh, maximum inventory uh, divided by 2 which is in fact average inventory uh, multiply by H uh, plus D by Q multiply by S so I max we already calculated here uh, that is 1095.44 uh, divided by 2 multiply by uh, 0 0.60 and plus D demand is 10,000 and Q is 1 to 17.16 multiply by S is 40 so uh, total cost is 657.264 so now we move to the next very important question uh, in which question is that a chemical firm produces sodium bisulfate in 100 pound bags demand for this production is 20 tons per year per day uh, the capacity for producing the product is 50 tons per day setup cost is 100 dollar and storage and handling cost are 5 per ton a year so the firm operates 200 days a year I uh, note one ton is equivalent to 2000 pounds so how many bags per run are optimal so first is um, to calculate the optimal Q uh, and next uh, we will say that uh, what is asked next so first important step is to get the data so uh, from here as you uh, can see that 20 tons per day and they are operating 200 days a year so 20 multiplied by 200 uh, annual demand is 4000 tons and ordering or setup cost s uh, is uh, 100 dollar and holding cost h 
is five dollar uh, and after that uh, production capability is also given that is 50 tons per day and days in a year are 200 and here daily demand for this product is also given in the question uh, which is the new term in the economic order quantity that, that demand for this product is 20 tons per day so this uh, new uh, variable uh, should be denoted by lowercase u and we will see that now how the formula uh, is changed so daily demand u is equals to 20 and uh, we uh, can see from here that we also calculate uh, 4000 divided by 200 is equivalent to 20 so now first of all uh, we will calculate the optimal size of production run q uh, which is 2ds divided by h and now uh, multiply by p divided by p minus uh, u in which 2d demand is 4000 and s is 100 and h is 5 and p is production capability uh, so production capability is 50 uh, ton per day and divided by 50 minus demand demand is 20 ton per day uh, so uh, finally uh, it should be equivalent to 516.39 tons and here some more calculations are given there is no need to calculate this but if you want to calculate uh, then you may show that one ton is equivalent to 2000 pounds so 516.39 ton multiplied by 2000 equals to 1032780 pounds and one bag consists on 100 pounds uh, so 1032780 divided by 100 so you can calculate the uh, optimal q bags 10327.8 uh, now the second thing uh, which is asked in the question that what would the average inventory so average inventory is always equals to i max by 2 so for that purpose uh, we need to calculate the i max maximum inventory so maximum inventory uh, in this condition is divided uh, q by p multiplied by p minus u where q is your economic order quantity which is uh, 516.39 uh, p is production capability that is 50 and multiply by p minus u p is production capability and u is uh, demand uh, so after putting that data maximum inventory is 309.834 and now average inventory is i max by 2 uh, so that should be equals to 154.917 now third requirement is that to determine the approximate length of a production run in days uh, so for that purpose approximate run length in days is uh, that your q is 516.39 and your production capability is 50 uh, so uh, which means that in a day you can produce 50 uh, uh, 50 tons per day so in one day uh, you can produce 50 tons and you have economic order quantity or uh, your optimal number of uh, tons or units is 516.39 uh, so uh, that should be enough for 10.32 days or you can say uh, for 10 days uh, this Q is sufficient so after that fourth requirement is approximate runs per year uh, so how many run one run is equivalent to 516.39 and there are uh, 4000 tons uh, in demand so uh, 4000 divided by 516.39 uh, is equivalent to 7.74 or 
7.74 or you can say 8 8 runs uh, you uh, require uh, in a year and uh, last point is that how much could the company save annually if the setup cost could be reduced to 25 per run for this purpose first of all uh, you have to calculate the total cost as the base case at the base case and after that uh, you should apply all these calculation uh, at uh, s equals to 25 so first of all how much company save if setup cost could be reduced to 25 per run first calculate total cost as base case so total cost in uh, this scenario is equals to i max by 2 multiplied by h we already uh, discussed it in previous question uh, plus d by q multiplied by s uh, annual holding and annual setup cost uh, so for setup cost i max by 2 uh, i max we already calculated here and uh, that it is equals to 309.8 through 834 and we already calculated here i max by 2 average inventory 154.917 so that is in fact equals to average inventory multiply by uh, your holding cost that is 5 and your demand is 4000 uh, tons uh, per year and uh, your optimal Q is 516.39 and your setup cost is 100 so that should be equals to 1549.2 and now in an alternative case all the data is same as we taken before uh, but S is uh, now 25 instead of 100 so first uh, we have to calculate uh, optimal size of production run Q uh, and uh, we just use same formula which we already used in previous calculations so just changing S equals to 25 instead of 100 uh, now our optimal size of production run Q is 258.45 tons and after that we have to calculate I max B because I max is uh, going to be used in total cost so I max uh, Q by P multiplied by P minus U uh, is equivalent to finally 155.07 and finally putting these values into total cost formula now uh, your total cost is 774.675 and now what is the change what is the difference and what uh, we uh, saved uh, in these both conditions so first of all total cost in first case is 1549.2 uh, 1549.2 and in second case total cost is 774.675 774.675 and just subtract these two and saving is 774.525 so uh, these two questions uh, were very important uh, with reference to economic order quantity and uh, I personally think that uh, in further one or maybe two videos uh, we will cover uh, approximately all of the economic order quantity uh, questions or uh, situations in which we use economic order quantity and uh, in next coming uh, videos uh, we will discuss uh, maybe three or four theoretical uh, questions uh, related to forecasting and inventory management because it is possible uh, that they may ask you uh, about the forecasting and uh, inventory management in a theoretical way so we will discuss these and after these uh, we will uh, move to the investment and portfolio management and we will discuss uh, in brief about uh, investment and portfolio uh, management so till then take care of yourself stay blessed and take care of other persons around you thank you very much